Hello and welcome to the webinar and um, today I'm going to show you why I think you um, don't need to use PowerPoint anymore for those sales presentations and why you should be using Sway instead. Um, Sway is part of Office 365 suite if you think if you've got Business Premium um, and maybe even some of the other business products uh, you can get Sway. I think Sway is an online only tool uh, but it doesn't need to be on your desktop and I'll show you why in just a moment. The way you access it is go to your Office 365 account and you'll be presented with all the different options you have and the one here is Sway. So you click Sway and it opens up in your browser like so um, and from the beginning you've got you've got create new start from a topic start from a document um, these two options are really uh, very good as well start from a topic allows you to just put a subject in it creates a sway presentation for you and at least it's a really good starting point and start from a document is really good for if you already have say brochures available um, that you want to use but for this presentation I'm going to assume that I am about to make a presentation some kind of sales presentation um, on the uh, Tesla Model S car and I'm going to show you what I think the best way to do that will be um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and you've got start from a template here and I'm going to pick the one which is presentation and what that then does is loads that template up and it shows you this is the presentation how it will present it's got some nice slides and animations and it shows you the basic structure some images etc and what we're going to do is going to take that and then we're going to make that into our presentation so to start we just go to the edit button here edit template it prepares it like so And then this is the area where you're going to um, actually put your template together. Um, it starts at the top, scrolls to the bottom, and you can see you've got all these it's structured by cards. Um, the top presentation title is a card, there's a heading card, text card, image card, and then all the options down this left hand side. It's really simple. And I'm going to show you how to go from the beginning to the end. We're going to do a presentation, it's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes. So. To start with, I want to change the title. I'm going to make that Tesla Model S, um, but obviously I don't want to insinuate that it's as slow as a tortoise. So I click the open in, and that opens the image up, and I'm going to delete that image, and then it says add a background. So I'm going to click again to add a background, and the great thing that makes it really quick is you can search directly. Because I've already done this search before, I've got options there, but I'm going to do it from the start for you, model S, search, that goes away and looks for appropriate images you think you might want to use, some lovely ones at the top, so let's take this one and just drag and drop, and there we have the image with the title and if you want to preview it you just click droop, like that, that's your opening slide, lovely. And so, uh, we'll, well, now we've done that, we'll go to the next slide. So this is the heading slide, this is the bit where you create an interest. So what we're going to say here is we're going to say new features. And again, I'm going to change that image. Um, let's put that one in. Sorry, put that back, click on it first. And drag into there. And we've got new features, and then after new features, this is what this is um, the part of the slide that's got some more of the details in. So I'm going to put a couple of new features in. I've got two images to illustrate it. So two features, two Im images. And um, so what we're going to say, we'll say all new interior, and we'll say uh, longer range. So we just need to find some images to illustrate that. So again, I'm going to delete that, delete that. What it's done this time is um, delete them all together. But the easy thing to do to add a new image in is click plus, click image, and again you can drag and drop. So I've got 
all new interior so what I want to search for is Tesla Model S interior and there's some nice pictures there let's take that one and oh, I've got two points I want two images so add another image and it's about the range so I want to do something about the charging so search for that here we've got an image of a charging station I'll drop that in and now something I'll show you here which is quite useful if we just get to that bit um, you might want some of these uh, images to sit slightly differently in the page so what you can do uh, the easy way to do that is you click on the image you've got these focus points click focus points and you just click as many times as you like on the page where you want the focus to be and it refocuses the image to that point so let's say I want to let's say the steering wheel is um, a major new point I'm going to click focus on the steering wheel and look it's readjusted the images and put them up the side to focus on those points instead simple as that let's move on to the next bit we've got another heading card we're going to delete that image again add another back, uh, background image again um, it saves just uh, search across the top so rather than having to put them back in I can just click back onto that one to get back to some main images and I think, don't think we've used that one have we? I'll put that one in and in fact let's uh, we're doing the same thing here so let's skip this one all together just delete that section so we've got those images in there we'll delete that section we don't need that and we're going to go into the conclusion and so we'll put in fact instead of a conclusion we'll put uh, what are people saying and we'll do a little bit about another uh, uh, aspect of it which is really useful uh, again delete the image and there we go. what are people saying I've got a safe search from before and what do we need there oh, in fact we'll put um, we need a picture of a group of people Cheesy, we'll put that one in for now. And what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to get rid of these pictures and I'm going to pop in, get rid of that as well. And in this one, in a video so I click on add video and then we can look for a review There's a little icon there that shows you it's a video. Drag that and pop that in. And what we can also do is we can pull things in. Look, it's showing me reviews from Twitter. We can pull those in as well. And we can do that manually by clicking plus and tweet. Then again, you click add tweet 
and we can search for let's say hash Tesla Model S great and here are some pulls up things on Twitter some video some other tweets and uh, do, 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 let's find a good one looking great pop that one in there and if we open that up again you've got those you've got a couple of tweets you've got a video we don't need that element so we'll get rid of that and then we can have a look at that section what are people saying and you can play the video and skip on well we've got we've got one tweet we could put more in than that ah there's the other one so you've got a rough outline there of, of how easy it is um, to put something together um, all the options are over here on the left you can drag and drop you can use the plus arrows and if we look on here again um, you've got so many different options that you can do pulling stuff directly in from the internet heading text images video um, comparisons you can put a slideshow of images in and at any point as well you can change the design which changes the text and the layout which I'm not doing at this point because I've selected that and you can change the layout as well which is how it scrolls so let's have a try at that make that a downward scrolling one and then when you do that look scrolls down and just use a scroll wheel instead I'll pop it back to how it was and then to see all how that's put together you just click play and this is how it will be seen when you share it with either the audience or whoever you're sending it to um, I'm just using the arrows on the keyboard if it was on a tablet you could swipe to move through all these animations built in from the template and what's that taking us 10 minutes to put this together play the video in situ perhaps one wouldn't want a nine minute video in your sales presentation but makes the point let's move on to the next one and there's the end um, so that's 10 minutes to make a really nice looking presentation I think, you've, I think you'll agree that it's miles and miles easier than using PowerPoint and then once you've done you click share you've got a link you get the embed code you can send it to people you can send it yourself and you're done thanks for watching